bamboo tablets work in. Um, these are applications, programs, just all sorts of different things. I've got, been getting a lot of questions lately about how these actually work, as in what programs you can use it in. And those are legitimate questions, because a tablet isn't something everybody really knows about. So, this is Wacom's website, just thought I'd show you that. Nice little opener. But here we go. So, basically, I'm going to try Pixelmator. If it works in Pixelmator, it'll work in Microsoft Paint, it'll work in Photoshop, it'll work in all sorts of programs. So, here's how it works. Um, I'm using my pen for all this. The clicking you hear is just my mouse. Um, but as far as the writing and stuff, I'm going to be using my pen just to give you a sample of how it writes. Okay, I'm going to just use like a little brush for this. Um, hello. That is just um, a little bit of writing with it. It's real easy to write with and it's pretty cool because it looks like my handwriting actually. So it works in Pixelmator. I'm opening Photoshop in the background to sort of show you how it works in that. And if you don't have Photoshop, it comes with Adobe Photoshop Elements 8, at least the bamboo tablet that I have does. And it also comes with Sketchbook Express. It works in Sketchbook Express just like it does in these. Um, just open a new window in this. Blank file. I'm just going to do 500 by 500. That's just sort of a basic roundabout square. I'm going to show you the writing in Photoshop. Now it's easy to use. As you can see, I'm using my pen right now. Very easy to select stuff. This is just a random brush. I'm going to write J. That's my nickname. See? Okay, now another cool thing, if you're not into opening Photoshop or Pixelmator or Sketchbook Express every time you want to write something, and believe me, I'm not, then you will want to go to the Bamboo Dock. It comes with this. It's included with uh, all of the Bamboo series tablets. Basically, you just draw over this thing. This is how it works on the uh, Mac to hide it and then draw on it to open it once you've got it open. It has a tutorial. basically shows you how to do it. Cool landmarks uh, sort of application. Mona Lisa. You get to draw on the Mona Lisa, sort of make her look funny. And Free the Bird, which is a cool game. But you're going to want to go to Bamboo Paper. It's included with all of the Bamboo tablets. And basically, it is a cool application for writing and drawing. If I can get this to open working a few seconds ago. Might be where I had so much stuff up. Here we go. Okay, so it's going to open up to a little notebook-like thing. I'm going to go ahead and just open the book by clicking on it and open to a brand new page. This is also a free application on your iPad, so if you want to test this out on your iPad or iPod, just download the Bamboo Paper. But um, this is sort of where you can take notes like... I like the highlighter tool because it's pretty awesome. Let's say I want to highlight this. It's great for taking notes. If you're in, I mean, if you're a teacher, this is right up your alley. Like I'm, I'm studying to be a teacher right now, and I can't wait to incorporate technology like this into the classroom. But um, let's just do like a list or something. Homework. But say you want to highlight something, so like, don't forget this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to highlight this here. Don't forget your homework, okay, guys? Something like that. It's just easy to use. Um, very cool. It's actually, I mean, this is like a highlighter. You go over it a couple times and you can see, I mean, that's how a highlighter works, right? It works in most all programs. It works like a mouse, though. So let me explain that real quick. If you can use your mouse in a program to draw or write, like to just play around and doodle with, then you can use this. This is actually a step better, but anything you can use your mouse in to write with or draw with, you can use your bamboo tablet. And it also works in WizIQ. I tested that out for any of the teachers out there. So hopefully that sort of gives you an idea of what all programs the Wacom Bamboo tablet works in. And I hope this helps somebody. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask them. This video was literally made out of response to all of the questions I was getting on my old video. Um, and if you haven't checked that out, be sure to check it out. So hopefully this helped you.